In this program, we're going to learn about allotropes. An allotrope refers to the different spatial arrangements of atoms. The word allotrope comes from the Greek word allotropia, meaning variability and changeableness. The element carbon, for example, has several major spatial arrangements or allotropes. Let's look at an allotrope known as the buckyball, or fullerene, named after the architect Buckminster Fuller. The buckyball earned its name due to the fact that it has the same soccer ball shape of pentagons and hexagons as the geodesic dome designed by Buckminster Fuller in the late 1940s. Another one of carbon's allotropes is the diamond form, which creates a structure that is extremely hard and valuable. Atoms in the diamond allotrope are arranged in a tetrahedral or cage-like structure. The hardness of the diamond allotrope of carbon make it especially useful for stone cutting applications. Another allotrope of carbon is known as graphite. Graphite is most commonly found as the lead in pencils. The graphite allotrope exists as layers of flat carbon sheets, stacked one on top of the other. As a pencil moves across a sheet of paper, the sheets of graphite transfer from the pencil lead onto the sheet of paper. As you can see, even though the elements all contain the same elements, the arrangement of the elements creates a variety of unique properties. Now that you better understand allotropes, think about this. How can the structure of atoms affect its properties? Think about it. 